Now we wish to study a very important thing that is close packing of spheres in three dimensional space on the basis of hexagonal arrangement. For this again consider a layer of spheres arranged in hexagonal arrangement. For the sake of convenience let us consider only a section of it showing seven spheres as given below. Now this figure has six voids. Three of them are marked as red dots and three are marked as green cross. They are alternate to each other. Further, in order to build a layer of similar spheres on this layer, we can either put spheres in red dot holes or in green cross holes. Similarly, a layer below this layer can be made. So we can arrange the spheres in a three dimensional space based on a hexagonal arrangement in the following two ways which form the basis of construction of two types of unit cells. First, hexagonal close packing at CP or AB, AB, AB type of arrangement. This arrangement can be obtained by filling the similar voids above and below the given layer that is either red dots or green cross holes. Therefore, alternate layers of spheres will become similar. That's why it's called AB, AB, AB and so on and so forth type of arrangement. The corresponding unit cell is called hexagonal close packed or HCP unit cell. Both of these are shown in the following figures A and B. Second, cubical close packing CCP or ABC, ABC, ABC type of arrangement. This arrangement is obtained by filling red dot holes for making a layer above the given layer. Then the layer below it must be made by filling green cross holes or it can be vice versa. That's why this type of arrangement in the space is called ABC, ABC, ABC and so on and so forth type of packing and the corresponding unit cell is called cubical close packed or CCP. This unit cell is just the same as face centered cubic or FCC which we have already read. These two are shown in the following figures again A and B. A shows ABC ABC type of arrangement. B shows the unit cell extracted from that that is CCP or FCC. Thus we see that HCP and CCP are the two faces of the same coin. 